Welcome back to Motor Archery. Today, finally, it arrived. After two weeks laying around for nothing at customs, the string, of course, obviously. And then we have it here. The nice new sleeves as we know them from Ali Bow. There it is. The Shenmu. So let's make sure that this stays here. So, stay here. Good. Shenwu by Olibo. It's a 60 inch from knock to knock bow contact and has this extremely interesting knocks with this hole in it and then here only a very shallow knock groove which could cause problems to what we see. For the rest the limbs are narrow. We have relatively long and nice gently bent sears. Handle is roughly straight. Feels good as usual. Build quality Alibo like no problem at all. Tips are reinforced, that's good. So what can I tell you to the Sheng Wu? Or shall we string it? Let's string it first. So knock to knock is 60 inches. And this bow has a maximum, a, a safe max draw length of 33 inches. But there is written, this bow has 32 pounds at 28 and 48 pounds at 35. I know what that means, motherfuckers. <laughs> joking, joking. These knocks look interesting, to say at least. So let's string this pretty bow. So Chen Wu. Should I tell you something about Chen Wu? You know, me as a Taoist with his preferred home is Wudang Shan. Of course, you know Shen Wu because. It's uh, one of the immortals. It's the, they call it the dark deity or even the true warrior. But of course, Shen Wu could be translated in black turtle too. So, but for me, it's Shen Wu, the true warrior. And this is his bow. I like that. And look at these curves. Brace height, I forgot not to measure, but it's exactly to my thumb. So it's six and a half, seven inches something. Handle feels good. As usual, you have your ray skin here. Pretty, pre pretty bow. I don't know, it, it, it has something already the name. So let's see. Details first, the details. Let's see what I, I wrote something down for you. So, Shen Wu. You can have this bow $300 including shipping. String length is 1 meter 40. You can have this bow from 20 to 70 pounds at 28 inches. As I said, the max draw is 33 inches for bows up to uh, 40 pounds for either sec and 31 inches from more than 45 pounds. When you draw this bow 33 inches, the F value would be 0 0.55. If you draw the bow 35 inches, which I think it's capable of, then it's a 0 0.58. So, Shen Wu, I told you. What is next? Medium to a lot wiggly. It's okay, it's a medium, it's medium. So it's even beginners, no problem. Let's check the curves. <laughs> it's a never ending draw. Very, very interesting. So here you feel it. And then from here on, it goes back like, I think I drew it already too much. Let's see. Let's see. Only to make you stop here. So, this arrow is 36 inches, 36 and a half inches to be precise. Knock is uh, the string is quite thick. Look at this. This should be now 33. Would go more. Would go more. Holy cow. Yeah. There's a little, a little vibration in the handle and the limbs vibrate a 
bit, three, four seconds, so it's not too much. But this was now, of course, a very lightweight arrow. Let's shoot one more time. This is, I think these arrows don't even have 500 grains. So there is, of course, no recommendation of arrow weight. Katra, oh, everything comes natural. Let's shoot a little heavier arrow. This is a bit shorter one. This is 33 inches, I guess. No, no, whatever. We get there then when we get there. Yeah, it's shorter. Yo. Don't know why some people don't like this Shenmue. It's not as, as sturdy as the Keshik, of course, with his wide limbs. And it's a little longer, but the draw experience. Ho! Oh. Here you feel it first. And then, like a compound bow here, 28, easy, 30, easy. 32, 33, there's no stacking at all. You can't draw this both 35 inches. Let's shoot a heavier carbon arrow. They are, f I tell you late, I wrote somewhere the weights. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we just throw it on. Do I have an air bamboo? And they're really heavy. This is 650 grains, so they're way too heavy now. Even a heavy arrow? Shen Wu, welcome home. <laughs> you know, when I was in Wudang Shan, you know, I can tell you stories. I met him, Shen Wu, when he was sitting in his temple. He said, hey, Shen Wu, dude, how's life? I said, you know what, I tell Ali Bo to build the bow. Interesting. So one thing which is this little causing my, my neck hair to crawl is this, this shallow string knock here. It's double sided reinforced and it might work, but you know, this is really thin here. So, but it works and this hole is for completely no reason. I asked Alibo, they said this hole is simply decoration purpose or whatever. I don't know, there is most probably no historical proof or evidence, but this hole is first of all good, you can hang the bow more. <laughs> and second of all, of course, it saves a little weight in the sear in the end. So less weight, less vibration. And vibration wise, this bow does very well. So now let's shoot a bit properly here. This bow on 10 meter distance with the lightweight wood arrows. So look at this bow. <laughs> it's too heavy. Holy cow. They're a little shorter. 31, 2 inches, I don't know. Even there. Holy crap, and I thought I left the Kishik. Carbon, heavier, longer. Yes, I can do that. Wow. Yeah, this one didn't fly properly. And this one does fly properly. The longer carbon ones, but a little bit more lightweight from the Jura. Wow. Holy cow. This bamboo, very heavy. Insane. Guys, I know you all have now the Keshik already, but I need to show you something. I didn't shoot this bow before, but you need to look at this. Look at this, I turn you around and you follow me. You follow me here, look at this. 
you see that all different arrows I never shot this bow before uh, from 490 to 650 grain different length different spine insane bow a really insane bow holy crap I think we shoot not 10 20 30 meters good idea all I can say is these new generation of bows from Ali bow wow insane so the short wood ones on 20 meters I think you see this target right here <laughs> where's the other shorty no, there's the other shorty 30 meters a bit longer wood ones 20 meters oh it was a little low okay that was a bad shot now it starts raining again really it was a little too long see carbon 20. <laughs> no problem carbon 30. a little low ooh, and a little wobbly that was a sloppy release still a little low a lightweight carbons no problem on 20. how heavy are they oh, well, i can't read this writing a little low one more time yep you get there you get easy there this bow doesn't need a lot of practice right, the heavier arrows i was overcompensating <laughs> center shot with the heavy bamboo arrow on 30 meters 33 inch draw 43 45 pounds with a 650 grain arrow it's surely not the fastest but an amazing bow what a cool bow so could you with this handle easy get your arrows here and shoot your you know style get them the other way around works too easy no problem but but how does it feel with 28 29 inch lightweight arrows good question let's find it out no problem center shot I mean, there you feel a little hand shock. These arrows are a little too light. You feel it a little. They are only 320 grains, so this is a little too lightweight. But the moment you shoot a little heavier arrows, fine, really fine. So, my suggestion again at least 8 grain, but better go for roughly like 10. And you still have nice power. And you should Persian Slavic, I don't know how it's called. So the three finger arrow on the right side. Yup. Works nice too. Oh no, it's a fun shooter. So the, the loose for heavy draw weight bows, you know, this shoulder down. There's an interesting article Blake Cole wrote it with Justin Ma about how to draw heavy bows. It's quite interesting. You should read it. You find it on Facebook somewhere. Always keep your shoulder down, you know, then and the last that you don't collapse. Always keep pushing, pulling, pulling. Interesting written. They have this loose thingy there. So the thumb is completely forward like this. Strange my thumb a bit, I don't mean, but you know, it's me. I like it more locked on the middle finger. That's my way of shooting. And I'm even with the release more accurate, but that's me because I practice this a lot. And you always do good in what you practice. 
Holy cow, this thing is accurate. Wow, see, I love this bow. Katra, everything easy peasy peasy with this bow. Holy cow, Shen Wu. In the dark deity we trust. So, when it stops raining, we do speed test quickly. This would be the reference arrow would be 10 grain per pound. At 33 inches, obviously. And go there. So we shoot now these ones, they are 540 grain. 156. 158. A knock is coming out. Hello, hello. The knock is coming out. 161. Not that big of a difference. I think these ones are the most lightweight ones. They should be 345. Not sure. I don't find my scale anymore. 155. Let's not hold Can draw a bit more, my friend. 159. Yep, it's always there. So these arrows are all roughly 9 to 12 grain. They would be 12 and a half. 151. I said it's not the fastest, but it's a insane joy to shoot this bow. Besides the little vibration. So. 29 inches, 320 grain. Hoo-ha! 169. 175. 176. So, you get something, I don't shoot now all the arrows. So you see what you get there, where the range is for this bow with 10 grain, with a bit more lightweight arrows and with a bit more heavy arrows at another weight of these ones. 155. This is what you get. Not the fastest, but a little longer than the others. Still stiff enough. For every purpose, the handle is small enough that you can hold your arrows in it. Wow. Yeah, Ali bow. Really, really a good bow. Let's wrap it up. The Shen Wu, the Dark Deity from Ali Bow, is a really impressive bow for me. First of all, it feels safe, so the limbs don't wobble too much. This is everything fine, feels safe. Draw weights from 20 up to 70 at 28, which is insane. Uh, stringing, unstringing, easy. You have a little little vibration in the handle. This is one thing, this is the, the minor thing which annoys me a little, but on the other side the limbs are four or five seconds and then it's done, so it's not too much. There's not really a guitar built in, you can even hear it a bit. Maybe it gets better with the time when you shoot a bit. I didn't measure the brace height yet, but I will do now and then I write it there. Um, what to say about this bow? It's a Beautiful bow, first of all. I mean, different design here, very nice. But for me, the shooting experience, I shot six different kinds of arrows, six different lengths, six different spines, six different weights. And my first round, I shot this bow directly. You saw the group, of course, only at whatever, 10 meters something. But still, it tells me something about this bow. You will have a lot of fun with this bow. And the draw experience is, wow. I mean, casing was nice and 
I forgot the ching hai, I think it was nice, but this one is, here you feel it, here you have to, you think, oh, what a heavy bow. And then from here on, and look at this, this is a 36 inch arrow. We are now at 33, and there's still no stacking, but now the string is touching my chest, and I'm here. Oh, went through the sack. Of course, I should have my shoulder top on, but I was now excited. Oh, now I need to find this arrow. I hope I didn't kill a cat. Alibo, very well done. Thank you very much for sending this one to me. Shen Wu. If you want to have a little longer bow, 60 inches is set from knock to knock. The string is 140. And a good looking bow. And a good performing bow. This is, look at the curve. <laughs> need to show you again. Look at these curves. Huh? Look. Awesome. Huh? Awesome. Wow, really? Wow. I mean, the Kishik was not my favorite because it's really, really sturdy. But this one, when you see the length of the bow, holy crap. Xingwu, the dark deity, for me, the true warrior. It's a true warrior. It does everything you want it. You can shoot all styles with it, all kinds. Even from horseback, it's not too long. Six inches like a snake bow. No problem at all. The knocks still work here. So this is my only minor complaint that the string is really very narrow here to the, to the corner here, but works. You have some more string bridges. But for the rest, this bow is straight, it's so well made. And this is even insane when you see how many bows Alibo builds is building and they all always the finish is always top notch so that I never had one where you could see whatever so quality control this is really it's perfection and I like this I like to work with people they strive for perfection the only imperfection is that the ray skin doesn't touch you but you know what <laughs> so, wow it's even when you shoot only 28 inches with this bow, nice. 30, 32, 33, 34, <laughs> 33 max, safe max, okay guys? Keep it in mind, pretty bow. So, Shen Wu, it's an honor to meet you. Ali Bo, thank you very much for sending this bow to me. I get now my feelings for Wudang Shan again. And thank you very much guys for watching. I catch you in the next one. Thank you.